Hey guys, what's going on today? Bojo here, back with some more information on NHL 15 for you guys. So, uh, as most of you guys know, yesterday they released the Next Generation Hockey Player player trailer, so if you guys want to go check that out, make sure to go into the link in the uh, description down below and find my breakdown video of that. But today I have some more screenshots for you guys. Now, I wasn't planning on making a video for this, but I decided to anyway. They have, uh, as most of you guys know, if you played uh, NHL 14 for the past couple of days, you know that they did, surpri to, to the surprise of many, they updated the Team of the Week to the uh, New Faces and New Places uh, Team of the Week, where uh, due to free agency, they decided to make a Team of the Week for all the players that are now part of new teams. So that's basically what, we, basically what we have here today. Five screenshots showcasing five players and their new... Uh, their new teams. So first off, we'll start with uh, the Rogers Arena and Ryan Miller getting a nice backside view of uh, Ryan Miller about to go back. Well, um, but yeah, just a backside view of Ryan Miller in the Canucks jerseys in the Rogers Arena. We have not seen the uh, Rogers Arena yet for the Authentic Arena, so this is kind of like a sneak preview for this one as well. But yeah, Ryan Miller once again looks pretty good here. Uh, as most of you guys will note, the problem is with the still same goalie masks, but once again, can't really do much about that. So we'll move on now to uh, the Colorado Avalanche. We've already seen the Pepsi Center Authentic Arenas, and we're showcasing Jerome McGinley here. This screenshot is, I believe, taken from the trailer. So uh, if you guys have seen the Next Generation Hockey Player, you've probably seen this uh, screenshot already before, so I'm not going to take long on this one. Once again, it's just you being the glossiness of everything here, how the jerseys and the pants and pretty much everything look like uh, look like leather and rubber and all that good stuff. But this screenshot was more than likely taken from the trailer. And now we'll go on to Pittsburgh. We've already seen the authentic arena for Pittsburgh. Showcasing Christian Erhoff here. Uh, once again, uh, getting the, uh, the sprays from the ice going up along his skates. They're playing the Boston Bruins here. Um... Nothing really can tell about here, just a basic kind of screenshot of this one. Uh, there's Crosby right there on the left side of your screen. Um, two Boston defensemen. I would think that's Chara right there. He looks pretty big to be Chara, so I'll guess, take an estimate, guess on that one. Next, we go to uh, Minnesota and we have Thomas Vanek here. Um, Vanek, eh, I guess that kind of looks like his face. It's, it's not accurate as, it, as you're going to get, but. Yeah, it's, it's pretty close, I would say. Koivu in the background, obviously. All the backgrounds of these are obviously blurred out. They're only focusing on the new player joining the team. Uh, the shadows look a little bit intense here. Um, that's the only thing I'm going to say about that. And then the final one we have, uh, probably the coolest one, is uh, Paul Stashney from the Saint, doing the uh, St. Louis Blues, taking a nice little shot here on Jimmy Howard. The one thing I want to note about this screenshot is if you look behind Jimmy Howard's uh, net, there's a guy in like a brown hoodie holding a beer and apparently texting on his phone. I don't know, his head looks kind of weird. I can't really tell because it's a little bit blurred out, but it looks like his head's kind of crooked. I know I know that they said in the Living Crowds um, description that there would be people like on their cell phones uh, taking selfies apparently. Rammer exclusively said that at E3, that there will be some, both be some fans taking selfies in the crowd. But it looks like he's holding a beer, which I think is pretty cool. And he's probably texting something. I don't know why the hell he's texting during a game when there's probably like a mid-breakaway happening right now. But whatever. So those are the NHL 15 new faces in new places screenshots. Let me know what you guys think. Um, it's just kind of just the basic stuff that we've been seeing for the past couple of weeks. And hopefully we'll be able to see some more of the new trailers coming up. I know that the uh, commentators and the uh, real ice puck bounce, the uh, ice being real physics, is coming up soon. So hopefully I'll get those out for you guys as soon as possible. Other than that, take it easy, guys. And I'll see you for some more NHL 15 news whenever it comes out. Oh, and by the way, guys, if you're wondering what the background music that I used for this video was, it is actually of a couple of my friends' bands called uh, Could Have Been Kings. Make sure to go check them out on Facebook. I'll leave the link down in the description below. This is their newest single that we'll be releasing pretty soon called Waste of Time. So if you want to go check them out on Facebook, they're a nice, cool pop punk band and they're a couple of my good friends so be sure to go check them out like in the description down below and uh yeah go check them out see you guys next time